State C Boys Basketball Semifinals. Zane and Pitts, our lead, trying to get back to the title tilt for the third straight year. Scoby had other plans. C.J. Nelson going to the hero from game one. Caden Handran, of course, flashbacks of that opening round game. Then Handran inside one more time. Scoby went up 10-2 in the opening minutes. Handran had a big game, nine points for him. And Warley coming back on the other side with an and one. Lane Johnson in the lane off the dish from Philip Molitaire, but how good is Nelson? Step back triple, 22 points, seven boards, five assists, four steals as he fills out the stat line. It was a seven-point lead for the Spartans, and they continued to go. How about the nice little move right there? More Scoby. This time Parker Cromwell, two of his seven points, but Arley's so good. Will Mestiff, no-look pass inside right there. That one goes to Darshan Bolin. Those were his only two points of the ball game, and Arley kept chipping away at the lead. How about White Cell spotting up for a three-pointer right here? He had 14 points, a pair of three-pointers for Greg, and then Molitaire going. Kobe Bryant with the nice little fallaway jumper off a great move right there. A huge game for him as well. But Scobie continued to lead throughout the ball game. That one right there is going to come from Dylan Myers. He had five points, and the Spartans continue to go. Riley Linder, this time off the glass. Scobie fans on their feet looking for the upsets. Our lead, though, trying to get a stop trying to get a stop doesn't come as Linder goes with the nice left hand layup off the glass again Scobie in extending its lead and then into the second half Molitaire right here going to get the nice pull up jumper in transition he had a monster game with 18 no rather 28 points and 13 rebounds he had four assists and three steals White Cell with the layup our Lee fans on their feet and especially on their feet as he steps back and hits another three pointer it was all Warriors as their fans get on their feet you can see the bench telling them to rise, and eventually they took their first lead of the ball game. Molitaire outside. Will Mestiff with the triple. Another big game for him. 18 points. Just one or two from beyond the arc, but that one gave them their first lead. Timeout, Scobie, to try and regroup. But would it happen or would it not? How about this? Johnson inside gets the bucket off the rebound right here. Arlie continuing to take the lead. And then Mestiff in transition. The nice little pull-up floater. The lefty gets it to fall. Arley fans feeling it. That trip back to the state championship game and Molitaire trying to help seal the deal with the steal, the coast to coast, and the layup. And Arley goes on to win this one 76 to 71. The Warriors are headed back for a third consecutive state seed championship game. I just wanted to coach from the beginning to be a good AAU coach for my son. <laughs> and now I'm here. This is pretty cool. Um, it's a surreal opportunity, but it's all for naught. We've worked way too hard to think that this is this is the end. Oh, we're bringing it tomorrow. That game that we just had, we don't talk about it the minute we leave the locker room. We talk 100% about the team that we're going to play here in the next hour and a half, and you'll see what happens tomorrow night. So who will Pitts and the Warriors face? Could it be a rematch against Manhattan Christian, or will Park City have something to say about that? We get things rolling with Christian going with Matthew Amaru, driving the bucket with the left hand right there, and then check this one out. It's going to be the big guy, Ryan Bush, inside. He had six points and seven rebounds for the Eagles. Then the outlet pass up here. How about Caleb Bellick? He had a monster game. A couple of guys collide to the floor right here, but Christian pulling away early on, and then this really got him going. Game was tied at 11. That dunk right there just sparked Manhattan Christian and of course the fans and here you go Caden Hill going out to Sam Lee for back-to-back three-pointers. They look identical. Watch this one more time. Hill and Leap each coming in off the bench. That was a deep three on the second one right there, and Christian starting to feel it as they pull away. It was actually 30-16 to 16 at halftime. Once again, it was tied at 11 in the early going. So Park City just trying to get anything rolling into the second half. Connor McNeil gets the bucket to go, but... How about Bellick? 31, 35 points, rather, and 21 of those came in the third quarter. He spots up for the triple right there, then leaps doing his part one more time, driving around everybody. The lefty off the glass right here with the layup, and then more from Bellick one more time from downtown. Six three-pointers for him, 12 to 24, 35 points, five boards, and a steal for him right here as Manhattan Christian can feel it and feel it they would. Hill spots up for the triple, and Bellick one more time as Manhattan Manhattan Christian sets up its rematch against R. Lee. They go on to win 74 to 50. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, uh, we've been, you know, not necessarily looking forward to them in the, in the state's out game, but just getting back there, you know, after last year. Um, it's been a focus, and the kids, like I said, they've left, they left that locker room hungry. And so we're excited to be back. We're excited for the opportunity to play a great team again that we know 
uh, two communities that are just so passionate about their team, and they're and uh, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I think uh, you know there's a lot of respect, mutual respect between the two.